All right, we back. We back. We back. Oh, I'm just seeing a big Mexican bandera right now. I actually haven't seen the starting lineup yet, which is hilarious. So let's pull it up together because based on y'all's reactions, you are making it seem like it's trash, which I'm not too surprised it's trash. This is Mexico we are talking about here, and we like to do things the hard way. Okay, so also shout out to y'all for jumping in here. It's late. Um, mm, hmm. We got Mexican Boba Fett. We got Mexican Boba Fett. We have Uriel and Tuna. That's not a shock. Henry Martin, I, that was leaked earlier. That's an embarrassment. Quinones left wing. Um, It's just interesting, bro. Like, we've dropped Chucky Lozano. Um, Eric Sanchez. Kind of felt like he was going to play. The center backs picked themselves. I guarantee you the only reason that Alco is playing is because Corey Sanchez is suspended. I guarantee you that's the only reason. And Jesus Gallardo keeps his starting spot over Arteaga. Disappointing yet. Can you lower your voice. I'm trying to hear this beautiful national anthem. Yeah, predictable. I, is the Lord. national anthem even going on? I can't even see. Yeah, it just finished up. Oh. My bad. That was a good one. Looking at this disgusting. Good Lord. He's saying late. It's nine. It's 1115 where I'm at. It is late. It is late. It's 1013. Yeah. I'm finishing up at 1 a.m. And then I'm going to wake up, go get a cafe con leche. Come back here. Record a reaction and prediction video for you, ungrateful bastards. And then uh, go check into a new Airbnb. Let's talk that about how freaking sick the Mexican salute is. Oh, it's so hard, dude. It goes so hard. This right here, what is it? Is it like thumb down? Or is it like okay. just a little bit? That yeah, goes so hard. Yeah, yeah. That goes so hard. Dude, I do. I love a good national anthem. You should know that in addition to all of our other um, absolutely bizarre hobbies, we do love to send uh, national anthems in the group chat. Me, Jack, and Jake went on a field day doing that. What was it? It was like a few months ago where we were just sending national anthems. The Japanese one is phenomenal. Go and give it a phenomenal. listen. Phenomenal. Australia ain't bad. Australia ain't bad. I still think that Argentina and USA have two of the best ones. You just got to, you know, listen. I think Argentina edges edges the USA out. And I know yeah. the USA won front and back. But, uh, juremos con gloria morir. We swear in glory to die. That just goes so hard. And I haven't heard yeah. of R like that in any form of art before or since. Mm-hmm. No, things hit different in Spanish. For things sure. hit different in Spanish. Like it's not even, it's not even debatable. The the only thing that comes close is uh, uh, the theme song for Narcos. Isn't that awesome? That's also in Spanish. It's also in Spanish. <laughs> Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. I heard the Greek. Soy well, el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo, la torre, yo soy. Soy la espada que guarda el caudal. Shout out to Colombia. Hey, can you go full screen, son? I can barely see. I'm just trying to talk to my people out here because I'm the only one riding for the national anthem. With your you ass national anthem, you're literally celebrating narcos. <laughs> the Colombian national anthem. We were just talking about yours before that. Come on now. I need to I need to put some respect on Panama. So they got yeah. Barcenas left, Carasquilla Godoy, Central, my boy Blackmon. The Blackmon at the right back. Escobar, Andrade, o Cordoba. This is a surprise. 23 year old Jose from Levski Sofia. Mosquera in goal. Ismael Diaz, Fajardo, and Rodriguez up top. So they have a lot of pace, not a lot of 
lethality. Man, I'm excited for this one, though. I'm excited for this one. And I haven't really seen these Mexico kits that much either. It's like a, it looks like an off-white almost. Huh? Kinda? What, yours? No, 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 the Mexico kit. Yeah, the Mexico kit? I thought it was green. It looks green to me. A it's like green? a light okay. green with uh, darker green oh. accents. Epa! Oh! oh! Golly, you put one Mexican on the field, and I'm already going, Epa! Ole! Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to be stressed, dude. Uh, live streams are better when I don't have emotional stakes. <laughs> no, now it's a disaster. See, now you know. Now you know. This is why this is why Bernard never wanted to come over to watch an Argentina game because it's not fun. You don't ever enjoy it. Yeah. You suffer through it. Here, dude, I'm going to try something. You tell me, is my mic volume getting lower right now? Can no. you hear me less and less? No. No? Okay. What about this? Am I getting more and more quiet? No, not at all. More and more quiet? Ooh, okay. No. Escobar, I believe is that gentleman's name. Escobar. La banda, la raza. Escobar and Andrade. My God, you guys are out in numbers. Shambolic appearance and showing from the United States. Always, bro. Every time. Jamaica. Every time. And then we have this gorgeous crowd with drums, trumpets. Somebody got, got a vuvuzela in there. I already know. Vuvuzela. They're talking about uh, Santi's form on the bench. <laughs> Shocking. Uh... It's a very interesting kit. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like this one. I like the home one, too. It's good looking. It's so different. Like I, I do like it well. Y'all were, were due for something different. Oh, y'all were due for something different. Luis Chavez with that left foot blessed by God. <laughs> That's a good ball, man. Come that on, was a pretty good ball. Right across goal, bro. Is who black? Who are y'all talking about? I think they're talking about your nine. Henry Martin? I guess. Oh, oh, sorry. Like, liter number nine. My bad. Yeah, okay. number nine. Quinones. No, he's definitely black. Yeah, 100% he's black. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is a black man. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Edson with a lot of space. Damn, Panama really chilling right now. Oh. That's a good Ooh, that's well cut out by Andrade, though. Well cut out. Good attempt and good block. Fun fact, Mexico has won the last three meetings with Panama, and every single game has been one nothing. God bless Mexico. Yeah. And then we have Thomas Christensen, best manager in CONCACAF. <laughs> Just chilling there. Just chilling there, bro. 
Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh. Oh my Yo. thank goodness it's right at Ochoa, bro. Yo. Oh my god. 17 was wide Ooh. open. I Ooh, like Ochoa's, Ochoa's kit more than uh that I like is Ochoa's fire. Kit way more than uh that is fire. Uh, who who do we just play more than Jamaica's? Really? Uh, I don't yeah. I don't. Nah, then he had the hard triangle. to open though. Yeah, he did. God damn it. Johan sends it long. Antuna. Oh, uh, Antuna. Got to be better on the cut back there. Yep. That man might weigh a buck 25. Yeah. No, no, no. Foul there. Come on. The Dude, did everybody just get braids? Did the everyone in CONCACAF, was there a, a committee? And everyone they, just said, we're going to get braids? They saw DePaul do it, and they're all looking for their uh, their shot at Dude. Dini Tosel, so. That's not even wrong. Like, they did it's see the wrong. ball do it. My man's a trendsetter out here. Because your man bagged one of the finest biddies in South America. <laughs> yeah, and if y'all if y'all visit Argentina, you will not be uh, that surprised anymore based on the Paul's appearance. Everybody here is tatted up. Everybody here has got mad piercings. Everybody's got blonde hair. Like natural and dyed, it's just a very um, like uh, aesthetically progressive culture. So much different than Peru. In Peru, I think I saw like two guys with blonde hair the, in, in two weeks. Here, it's like thirty-five to forty percent of the the young men have dyed hair because everybody there wants to feel special and look different. But now everybody's different, and so no one is. Yes. I've never seen a higher percentage of women tatted up than in Argentina. They're really? everywhere. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking one tats. God damn it. You're talking tatted, tatted. I'm talking Keep legs. Them all on the ground, lads. <laughs> oh, oh, you said. Come on, Chavez. That's a good ball through. Uh, he's he's going to get there. He's going to get. Oh, no. That's a big ask. Well, I hope Antuna warmed up because he's made two massive sprints in the last minute. Yeah, he's he's sweating already. Wow, he has oh 58 God. caps already? Yeah. He is a seasoned Mexican national team player. That's insane. Yeah. Dude, look at Panama, bro. They're playing out from the back against Mexico, dog. Like, a lot of teams are on the balls to do that. Coco, don't pick up a yellow card there, bro. Don't pick up a yellow card, you. Like, don't pick up. Come on, dog. Y'all know Coco, my boy, but that, that would be the dumbest yellow card ever. It's eight minutes. You're right inside your own half. No reason at all to do Ooh, that. Oh, it's because he got he's because he got elbowed. You saw that? Yeah. Woo. Hey, those two are the best midfielders in CONCACAF right there. <laughs> Hold on now. Hold on now. Brandon Aronson got something to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Aronson has entered the chat. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my God. Man, I like the Panama kid, but it's just too close to Chile. It's just too close to that Chile red, bro. Bro, ain't no way Edson about to score in back-to-back games for Mexico. That's a wow. good save from Mosquera, who is a underrated goalkeeper, I think. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's goes. unmarked completely. Bank. Did they call off sides? I don't have audio. No, I don't know. It's on sides. I haven't seen anything or heard. Have you heard anything? Okay. Damn. Okay. I'm about to go to that Argentine barber's say, give me that Edson. They're going to be like, ¿Quién es ese? No conozco. That would be so disrespectful. Put Guido Rodriguez on the bench any day. <laughs> oh, look at that slide. Get in there, Eric. Mamo Eric. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the hell are we doing? 
Good thing we don't start, Guido. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Araujo. I need a game from him. He's had some stinkers for Mexico. I need yeah. a game from him. Doesn't have to be three assists, but... No, but he's got to lock it in. Yeah, a little something to get excited about. Because with all due respect to Araujo, Mexico is never going to have the play style of Las Palmas, his club team. We're expected to have the ball every single game. Las Palmas are never expected to have the ball. So I don't want him to get too accustomed to one style of play. And then he comes to Mexico and just can't operate. That's a, you know, a fear of mine. Oh, my God. Oh, Quinones. Hold the ball, bro. Hey, Panama looking a little feisty, bro. They are. They're a little feisty. They're like, we're not trying to lose 104 times in a row. Uh Uh-uh. No, sir. Why do I think no Santi? I think that Jimmy Lozano plays favorites. All managers do, but to varying degrees. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's offsides. That's offsides. Yep. But great play from Panama. Oh, my God. Black Mon on the right, dude. A beast. Um, I think he plays favorites and Martinez is a boy, just like Eric Sanchez and Luis Romo and Jesus Callardo are his boys, and it's going to take a lot. Like Henry Martin, I don't know what his ex- exact stats are in Liga MX. I think he's got like eight goals, maybe four assists, something like that. So, to say he's been booty cheeks in, Me- in uh, Liga Mekis is incorrect. But I feel like as long as he's doing a decent job and Santi's not absolutely flaming hot Cheeto, then Martin is always going to have a good chance to start. Like oh, Santi's what a run, what a run, what a run. Kill. That's a good ball from Araujo as well. Put it across. Oh, it's blocked by Barcenas. I think he's playing left, yeah. Anyways, I just think... Santi's form has to be so much better that even Lozano can't ignore it. And that's not what we're saying. Now, what's absolute cheese, I think, is that um, Arteaga can't even get a start. <laughs> goes, to, goes to the same team as Gallardo. The exact same team. Takes the starting left back position, albeit Gallardo gets a lot of minutes now as a winger. Scores two goals. As a fullback, and still is on the bench. He's cursed. Yes, Araujo has been coming off the bench, but he's gotten a few starts with Mexico as well. And in those performances, I've been like, "Damn, this this brother." He just he's obviously not seasoned enough with the national team. Eric Sanchez, Eric Sanchez is very frustrating for me because he is a good player. He is a good player. But I just want to see is Barcelona's done? I just want to see like other options. Yeah, I think he is. Cuz I don't particularly find him like special. Damn, dude, that sucks. That's a Big loss for Panama already. If he's really off. I don't know. He's walking. Yeah, I'm thinking he just... It looks like... I feel like he's okay. I feel like he's okay. Yeah. Jack, how many can you bench? How many what? How many mangos? How many mangos? How many mangos can I bench? Probably like... At least 200. Probably saw the two, 220. How much does each mango weigh? Probably saw the two, 230 mangoes. Oh, Barcenas is down again. Oh, he's definitely done. Wow. Big loss already. I think Martin and Quinones make sense starting together. This that is a that is a talking point. 
that genuinely I didn't consider. And I think that's fine. You know, club chemistry is a thing. I think of Toby Otterfield and Jan Vertonghen. Um, my boy, Eric Davis. Okay. You know, um, getting that re- those reps together, the national team and the club level. There's something to see there. The thing, the thing is with me is that like, if the chemistry is not LeBron and D Wade prime Miami heat level, then it's pointless because we're talking about a, a, a team that's trying to make the final of the Copa America at minimum, the semifinal. And can we make a Copa America semifinals with Henry Martin starting striker and Quinones as the left wing? No, we can't. So to me, it's almost a, a, a test that maybe it's worth having if the Copa is a year away, but it's a couple months away. You know, let's try that after the Copa America when we can start fully prepping for the World Cup. Until then, I just don't think of the things that quest- that, that Mexico needs to solve. I don't think Quinones Martin in a front three is a pressing matter, is how I would see it. Damn, we tried to kill Johan. Yeah, Panama's playing chippy. Yeah, Air Davis on for Barcelona. Air Davis is a very, very good wide player. But I'm sure Christensen didn't want to put him on in the 15th minute. <laughs> I'm sure he wanted to wait off a little bit. The goddess of victory will smile upon Mexico. We just need Santi in. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, what gosh. a bar. Yeah, this memo kit is beautiful. Oh, what a ball. Oh my gosh. If this is on, that's that's some Ederson level stuff right there. Oh, the, wow. the ball though. Okay. Wow. Wait mm. for support. Wait for support. You gotta. I mean, beat the first man, too. Good Lord. Why can't we get more Mexicans in Europe, bro? You know the answer to that, bro. We're too expensive. Too expensive and too unproven. Would you want to buy a... Let's say there's a a car company launching, right? And the base model's 80K. You buying that car? No. No. You can buy the Mercedes. But the Mercedes is 35. Or you can get a nice ass one for 70. Or a Beastma one for 120K. And you know that thing's gonna get you chicks. You know it's reliable. Looks good on the Instagram. It's expensive expensive to repair. That's a different issue. You're not gonna buy that $80 mystery car. That's basically oh what my we are. God. Oh, my oh my gosh, God. what a ball. Fajardo's gonna get a Pelo shot. Oh, Metal Tudo indeed. Oh, wow. basura. No. Basura, Fajardo. Absolute basura. I wish that Fajardo, no. ha- mother of, all right. I wish that Fajardo's finishing was as clean as his haircut. Mm-hmm. Because that edge up is beautiful. beautiful. It, it is looking crisp right now. Looking crisp. He penciled that in right before he came on the field, but my guy. Don't you ain't calling a foul on that, bro? Oh my god, bro, go the way went flying twenty feet. Come on now. <laughs> Francisco saying it's not about money; they just aren't good enough. That's that's just not true. Yeah, there's it's potential. Just not there. that's just not true, and it's all like it's all relative to price. Are do we have plenty of players who are worth a? two to four million dollar transfer fee yes but we're not asking for two to four we're asking for seven to twelve well, lower it down. The- if you lower it down, if you match ecuador's prices i promise you you will have european relevant players oh my gosh oh my gosh get out of the turnover no mom is woke bro oh, the door just said Lord. oh my god that's an mls finish right there bro that is an mls finish Oh no, we just got bailed 
out. Some tells me we're not in for a uh, as, as high quality Come of a on, game as uh, Jamaica USA. Yeah, that was seven was off his line there. The uh, Panamanian center backs look so aggressive to start. Yeah, they I'd do. Be very encouraged by that. If I'm a pa- Araujo, yeah, what? We'll see, we'll see how uh, in the world, bro. We'll see how that holds up throughout the rest of the game. Yeah, dude, the pattern on that shirt is sick. The pattern the on the pa- jersey is so cold. Can we, are we not going to talk about how trash that pass was? It was terrible. It was terrible, but. I mean, color me unsurprised the way this game is going already. Lots of start stop. It's very familiar. All right. Depending on what happens in this corner kick, Jack's going to give a little example for the class on why Mexicans can't get to France. Okay. It's a goal kick. Everybody sit down. Here's an example real life example of the exact. Okay, so that I'm talking about, bro, with transfer business and Mexicans. Connor, how much do you think was the transfer fee from Argentinos Juniors to Brighton for Alexis McAllister? This is while he was playing at Boca, right? Mm, no, he was. Uh, he never officially signed for Boca. I don't believe it was. But he just was on loan. loan. Yeah. Yes. So when Brighton bought him from juniors who beat the piss out of <laughs> Lanús or something. I was watching Lanus, the game yeah. a couple nights ago. Killed him. Really? Uh, maybe it wasn't Lanús, but they won 3 nothing against somebody. Wow. Nice. Anyways. Um, I would how much say... Did he for? I don't even remember how old he was at the time. Um. Uh, had to have been like 20, 21. I'm, I'm going to say 8 to 12. 8 million. Look at that. Right he on the was money. was 20 years old, I believe. Okay. Okay. Kevin Alvarez just signed from Pachuca to America in the offseason. How much do you think he went for? 12 to 13? Yes, 20? exactly. That's exactly? 11 million. 11, 11 million. million. 11 million. So. And who would you rather have? And who would you rather have? This is my point. This is my point exactly. You had Alexis McAllister, who was one of the most promising midfield prospects in Argentina, went for eight. Straight to a Premier League club, which is already very difficult, and he's only able to do that because he's Argentine. Mexicans don't have those pathways. So, a Premier League club that is now selling players for over $100 million, two of them, is willing to spend $8 million on Alexis McAllister. How much do you think Braga in the Portuguese league is willing to pay for Kevin Alvarez? They're not paying more than 25 and that's a big deal for them. But we ask him for 12. Hence, nobody buys them. So it's not, it, it isn't a talent thing. Don't tell me Chino Huerta couldn't play in Europe. Don't tell me Fidel Ambriz couldn't play in Europe. Don't tell me Eric Sanchez couldn't play in Europe. Don't tell me that Quinones couldn't play in Europe. Antuna could definitely play in Portugal. It's all about value. What value do you bring and how much are you costing me? That's what it is. Mexico has a very interesting problem in that these Mexican clubs, like domestic clubs, can generate so much capital and drive the prices of these players up because they have such large fan bases, right? Europe does not have that bonus with a lot of the smaller clubs. They don't have that boon. So when you're trying to get somebody over from a very lucrative league like the Mexican uh, league, 
the, the translation just doesn't fit, right? You're paying way too much on a gamble, essentially, right? And you're much more willing to take a gamble mm -hmm. on somebody like Alexis McAllister for significantly mm -hmm. less in a league that is arguably better. I'm not saying definitely, yes. arguably. Definitely the top two teams are better. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Great ball in. Oh, it's well Dude, cleared. these crosses. Actually. These crosses. Bro, Escobar's a beast, bro. Antuna, this is the most Antuna thing I've ever seen, bro. Blistering pace. Incredible at getting in behind. And then it's the it's time to pass. And that's when it all comes crumbling down like a sandcastle. I've seen this so many times. I literally, I'm watching, I'm watching it happen, and there's just no change in my expression. I just, oh, yeah, okay, corner kick. I the second uh, the ball is being played to Antuna, I'm already thinking, okay, corner kick. Yeah, I'm thinking, gosh, I wonder if Chavez or somebody else is going to put this ball in. I'm already thinking that my brain is defaulted. Araujo switched to left back. Oh, I, gosh, you know what I don't okay. respect is that Antuna gave up on that ball. Oh, no. He gave up Who on that ball that? before it even happened. Fajardo, lay it off. Bro, Gallardo with a big swing and a mother effing miss Woo! there. Oh, my gosh. Well cut up by Johan. That was... Gosh. Good Lord. Somebody uh, left a comment earlier about the mentality being an issue as well with Mexicans. That that certainly is a thing, and that's more difficult to quantify. Um, certainly, there has to be something a little cultural there. Like, the, you, you can't chalk it up to anything else. Um, and maybe comfort, money, you know, lifestyle, everything like that. Like let's yeah, we kind of make it a lot less alluring, right? You leave your, you leave Mexico, you leave your country, you leave your town, you leave your club where you're a hero, you're a stud, everybody yeah. knows you, they treat you like royalty, yeah. and you go somewhere mm -hmm. where you're a you're a little fish in a big pond. It's mm -hmm. hard. That's 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 tough. That's tough. It's very tough. Yeah. And there's not a built-in pedigree. There's not a built-in pedigree like Argentina. You know, we now have three World Cups. People had the the benefit of seeing the beautiful uh, football that we played during that World Cup, and they were sold on a lot of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. But Mexico doesn't necessarily have that boon, and that is – it's a bummer, but it is what it is. And the way that you get that is you send – Guys into lower leagues like Diego Maradona went to Serie A. Arguably, I don't know if irrelevant at that time, but one of the lesser leagues. But he went Dude, and but... he he made a massive impact. And now Argentines have a historic tenure, a historic yeah. tenure in Serie A. But we we're not going to Serie A, bro. We're going no. to like the super the super I... league in Belgium. I agree, but you got to start somewhere is, I guess, what I'm saying, right? Diego Maradona. Correct. La Liga, not really happening, so move down to Serie A. You got to take what you can get. How many Mexicans all time have played in Serie A? Like, I don't even know. But, I mean, not to debate you on the, uh, the basis of your argument, which is true. Somebody has to do it, but therein lies the issue. And here's Antuna again. Can he put a ball? And it's a rincon for Mexico. I mean, I I'm going crazy this dude watching these. Know. He doesn't watch these football. games, bro. He hasn't put a single cross in on target. Uh, no, I, I think Escobar has blocked every single one of his entry passes. Anyways, um, dude, I, if if we had twelve players in Serie A, I don't give a damn where they're playing. If the best one is at Fiorentina and that is the peak, beautiful. Run it. I'm in. But we're not even there, dude. We're not even we're not even taking over Portugal. We're not even dominating the 
The Danish league. Also, the Danish league can't afford Mexican players straight up. They can't no, pay they can't. nearly what Liga Mekis can pay. And so we're kind of stuck in this like middle income trap where that's in theory was a good ball from Gallardo, but and then Kian is just gonna foul. In theory, the reason it works for Argentines, Uruguayans, and Brazilians is because their entry door is already a top four league. Almost not almost every, that's not fair, but a, probably fifty percent of the time. It's a top four league. And it just it's a lot easier when you're maybe uh, taking a 10% pay cut or maybe not even a pay cut at all versus having to take a 50% pay cut to go somewhere where you don't speak the language and the league isn't respected and no one knows who you are and they're like, what is Mexico? You know, I feel like we talk about this like every single live stream, but someone's got to do it. It's the same issue that a lot of other countries have. Don't tell me Jordan doesn't have players who could be playing in Europe. Yazan Anamat could absolutely be playing in Europe, but he's going to have to go to the Polish league. And why would one of the greatest Jordanian talents go to the Polish league for the betterment of future Jordanian players? That's a that's a big pill to swallow. That's a big pill to swallow. Did you see These that? Guys, oh, yeah. God. These guys the don't want to play hero ball. No, I'm not going to sacrifice for the next generation. I need to get mine. Yeah, your your career isn't even guaranteed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, my Lord in heaven. I thought that snuck through, Ocho. I was about to I thought that vomit. Did as well. Okay, so Araujo's second egregious mistake in 32 minutes. Come on, bro. What are we doing? I mean, Edson did the right thing. He just showed him the byline. If that would have snuck in, that's completely on Ochoa. And we have a corner for the Panamanians. I think their nickname is like the Canalers, but in Spanish, which I'm not sure what that is. Somebody in the chat, let me know. Here it comes. Quinona is cleared. Is the Turkish league good enough for Mexican development? I would say yes. I would say yes. Los Canaleros. Here we go. Canaleros. Canalsmen or something. Yeah. Which I think is kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Epa. Bro, you know, oh, not a nutmeg. Oh, that's a yellow card. That's an Amarillo for sure. What? Did we not even call anything? It's rigged. Corruption. Fraud. Corruption. 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 <laughs> I ain't even kidding. <laughs> they said, hey, were these beautiful new kits? No, we need these guys in the final. We need them in the final. We're trying to sell jerseys. They said, who sponsors Panama? New Balance? Yeah, they're going out. They're like, they are done. We're done with them. Damn, Godoy trying his hardest to... Get sent home early. He say, I want to go back to Nashville. I miss the barbecue. <laughs> you should try it in Texas, cowboy. Hey, put some respect on Tennessee barbecue, though. It's good. I don't think it's Texas. It ain't got the spice. Eric said, I think because the Panama Canal question mark. Please tell me that's sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. Sometimes, sometimes you know, Chad, you know I can't we tell. hate historical context. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Araujo and Gallardo both at fault there. Oh, my goodness. We're playing ping pong in the back. Yep. Look oh, at him. Memo's pissed. After. He's pissed. No, dude, get after him, bro. What is Araujo doing? Here, okay, of course they don't show the giveaway. Oh, my gosh. We've got 40-year-old Memo Ochoa having to sprint out here to bail out the back line. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 
I mean, Bottom are looking dangerous. This is exactly how the third place game in the Nations League went, except we scored in the fourth minute. That's the only difference here. This game is looking the exact same. Oh, my God. Am I surprised Quinones started over Chuki? Yes, I am, actually. Yeah. That, dude, Coco did so well there, and then who absolutely bottled that? It was Blackman. Dude. Blackmon. Come on, man. Come on. You got to grab it. Bro, I feel like Panama can beat us and win. I'm scared. They definitely can. They definitely can. And Christensen has never beat. He's never beat Mexico. Today could be the day. Today could be the day. Dude, that's going to be a bad look for the Mexican national team. If y'all came in, started booing the U.S. in our own game. 30 minutes before it was over, we end up winning, and then you lose to Panama in the same stadium with three times the crowd occupancy. That's that's the pride before the fall. Whose hair is worse, Antuna or Araujo? I actually think Araujo is pretty tough. Oh, no. Dude, I, I love bad. the pink, bro. I love the pink, bro. I don't think it worked for him. Really? I think it looks good on him. I think he looked like a burnt concha. I think he looks like a perfectly healthy concha. I mean, I like the concha. I like my Mexican sweet bread a little burnt. However. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I think Araujo's got seven. Uh, he's already slid seven times this game. He going to ground every time. He's going to ground. That's all he can do. Why are we struggling to get in the game? Let's put some respect on Panama. This is genuinely a good side, and we got a little. Uh, we got some funky stuff going on with this lineup, you know. Like, our fullbacks right now could be completely exploited by a good team. Yeah. Cleared by Montes. This needs to be a rip from yeah. Blackmon. Ah. It's a good shot. It's a good, good shot. shot. You said I got to make up for uh, my previous Oh, my bad. That was Escobar. Not a bad Ooh. strike for a center half. That's why I thought it was Blackmon. Not Black a bad. Not bad, not bad. Look at Ochoa's face when he falls. He's in pain. Oh, he's getting old. He's like, I don't have many more dives like that in me. Yeah, he's like, I got probably a hundred of those left in my career. Damn, dude. We need to get Eka so bad as manager. Man would have got us straight. He would have outlawed contrast. That's what he would have done. <laughs> he would have been like, Pelo Rosado. En mi vestuario. <laughs> no, querido. Yep. <laughs> Blonde or nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, 10 match ban for Araujo's haircut. 10 match ban for the haircut. You can shave it right now and I'll make you captain. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'd be good. You got a choice to make, son. Now, that's a good manager right there. That is a good manager. All right. Luis Chavez, the left foot kissed by God. Let's see. Does anybody in the chat see Panama's arrival? Let me know. Because we're starting to see these boys consistently in knockout games. Oh! oh! Edson Alvarez Edson, again. Baby. Two games in a row. Dude, what a stud, bro. I can't even clap because okay, I have to hold make on. You go. Okay, okay, make you go. Okay, make you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was nice. 
El Machin, bro. What a stud. El Machin. And Luis Chavez with a glorious ball in. Kissed by God. That's all you can say. It's really all you can say. Dude, unmarked again. Unmarked Dude, that's again. ridiculous. He is kind of unmarked. Yeah, that's, that's disrespectful. Look at that. He had five feet of space. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to do an offside trap? Because you're right. How is Edson, not the most dangerous, but probably the second most dangerous Mexican in the air, why is he unmarked every single set piece? What's going on? Who gives a damn? I'll take it. <laughs> Why are we still talking about this? Yeah. Y'all don't care about tactics anyways. You know why, dude? It's because he got those long sleeves on. Long sleeves are tough, bro. They are tough. That was disgusting from Luis Chavez. Is it? the, the Hmm? Is it they're checking for offside? Oh. Oh, man. If they take this from y'all. Today, I, I would say the game is Panamanian. <laughs> Who's did someone in the chat say that? No, me. <laughs> oh, okay. Goal. Goal. Okay. Dude, Alvarez is locked in. Locked in. No, oh, he's he's been playing well. Okay, that's Luis Chavez's third assist with the national team. It seems pretty crazy, but pretty much his first like ten games with Mexico, he didn't really get any like register any stats. Mm -mm. He's got four goals, three assists, twenty twenty four games. 28 games. So, yeah, definitely not like a stat patter. But he's completely vital to how we play. If, if, vital, yeah. if he's not in the lineup, man, we are fish That's food. Awesome. That's a good That's run awesome. from Quinones. I think he's on. I think he's on here. Is he on? I think that's going to. I think it's off. Oh, I need to... Dude, I thought. That was a beautiful it run, looked... though. That was a beautiful run. Yeah, it looked, run. Like he... it looked like he curved it. Hold on. Can I run this back? Yeah, they about to. We run this back, ref. They gotta. Let's see it. Yeah, look at him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't. Uh, he didn't carve it as much as I thought. Oh, that little flick though. That was beautiful. Oh, he sat the keeper down. Oh, he sat him down. He said, "Where are you going?" Be I'm not gonna lie. He got lucky with that deflection though. <laughs> With which one? He tries to like cut in, and it just that kind of goes off the defender's hip. Like oh, I thought I thought he flicked it around him. No, I think it like hit him a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what they need to check. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Somebody in the chat saying it's on. No way. This should this is a call that should take five seconds. Yes. What are we doing? We're waiting on the Venmo. Mm. Christensen is pissed, bro. He is furious. As he should be. Oh, yeah. Clear as day. Clear as day. It really looks clear as day. Mm. No way. Yo, I was joking about that, but no way. No, it was not. Yeah, can we can we draw the line? Oh.
Wow. Yeah, draw the line. Somebody show me something. That was insane. Who gave him the assist then? Wow, that's his first goal for the Mexican national team, but... That's wild. I've never seen anything like that. I'm sorry. I just needed to zoom in on our faces there because that was a little... Like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be, or there's some, like, rule that we're not aware of. Some, like, like what body part. Oh. That was Henry Martin with the assist. Quinones' first goal for Mexico. And uh, I apologize for the muted celebration. I'm just really concerned. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. As far as I'm concerned, this is one to zero. You know, make, uh, Panama's not shooting us right now, six to three. But Mexico looks like they're in the Mexico. driver's seat. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I guess Andrade kept him on. Wow. And to be fair, when it happened live, I thought the far side guy was holding him on. But it was like the initial camera view. Surely we can get a better view. Than, I don't know what stadium this is in, but I refuse to believe there's not a more. Dallas. This is in this Dallas? Is... I refuse to believe there's not a straight on angle for that. Yeah, that's that's very hard to believe. Okay, here we go. This will show us. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't believe it. No, dog. Okay, I'm that... lining up the grass. Yeah, I'm lining up the grass, too. But Dude, I think his shoulders, I think Quinones' shoulders are off. Oh, that's one of the closest calls I've seen. Yeah, I think Quinones is leaning over. I don't I don't buy that. Ah. I don't know if you can get any closer than that, to be honest. Okay. That's a good little response here from Panama. Immediately cut off. Immediately. Foolish. Well, they, I mean, it's go time now. This is it's go time, disaster yeah. mode for Panama. 2 nothing. 1-0 was always manageable, but this is... You know what? I'll be complimentary. I think Henry Martin's passing has been decent in this first half. Hold on. We hold really on. haven't created much. We've just Hold on, hold on. What's going on? Rules analyst. Okay. They're saying that the difficulty is that they're comparing the upper body of Quinones mm. to the foot that he has on the ground. And so it's hard to judge where his body posture is due to the angle of the camera. But I, I again, I agree with what you're saying. It's hard to believe that in at t Stadium, we can't get a better angle. But maybe CONCACAF just doesn't have the money for that many cameras. Wild to me. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to focus on that as a talking point just because I don't have the strength to, but... Well, I don't know what else we can glean. We have all the information, yeah. and it's sketchy at best. It's a con It's a controversial call. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, what you can say is that uh, the tide seems to be shifting in Mexico's favor. We're seeing a little bit more life from Panama just now, but... You got to see more. You got to see more. You got to make it into their final third. Let's see what this cross brings. This is going to be fascinating to see now because Panama can't even be semi-aggressive. Like, they got to go. And can we now, with speed merchants up top, can we take advantage of that? 
And this is the type of game now for Mexico opening up in the second half that would actually very, very much benefit a player like Santi Jimenez more so than Henry Martin. Yeah. Are we going to sub on Santi? I doubt it. Martin got an assist, technically. Yeah. So I seriously doubt it. But he'd be cooking. He'd be cooking. This is massively offsides. God, I know. I, I already know this is going to be the entire talking point now from this game. Yeah. The only one. <laughs> Use Jerry's camera. Guy owns a $10 million team. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, we, I'm sorry. Do we not have access to all that? Like, come on now. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Well, that's that's half time. Um why is it that when Mexico plays, it's gotta be controversial? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've always felt like the teams that are genuinely on the front foot tend to get the more the most fortunate and therefore they tend to be seen as the most controversial. You know, like Real Madrid, Barcelona, and La Liga, Liverpool, Man U, yeah. City in the prem they just they're usually like putting the pedal to the metal so they're the ones that are going to get the benefit from these calls and in CONCACAF it just happens to be Mexico um and the United States to a certain degree as well this is crazy because if you told me based on what I just saw that Mexico is winning two nothing I'd say you on the ganj we are not the better team by two goals so far. Um, better team? Sure. Sure. Panama very much look like kind of what I thought they were going to look like, which is a team that can play good football but can't really score, which is a problem. And Mexico, for the most part, I think it's a good midfield battle right now, actually. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Yeah. It's maybe not the most dazzling football, but I think overall it's been a decent game. Uh, and Mexico have been incredibly efficient and, and and a bit lucky. I mean, I'm not talking. I'm not talking the offsides call. I'm talking Quinones trying to juke his defender inside, and it bounces off his leg and just happens to bounce right back into his path, and he takes the shot. You know. Um. It's going to be very interesting to see what Panama do in the second half. Because let me see what the Panamanians, what, what are they dealing with, with the, on that bench right now? Like, what can they even do? Um, it's also the first time Mexico has scored more than two goals against Panama since 2019. Fun fact. Let me see. La Banca. La Banca. It's See Cecilia Waterman. Let me tell you, that man ain't it. That man ain't it. <laughs> In oh my gosh, they have two players for Alianza. Good lord, that explains everything. I don't really know a lot of the the bench guys anymore. Alberto Quintero. That's the only guy I know. And Waterman. That's not true. Um. Cesar Yanis? Where does this guy play? Deportivo San Carlos. I've seen this. I've seen this man before. I just don't know where. So they don't really have a lot of firepower to call upon. Mexico, we have Santi Jimenez sitting on the goddamn bench. And Chucky Mother F and Lozano. Yeah, that I don't understand. That has been a perpetual mystery to me. Santi, I get it. You want to rotate some guys. You want to give Martin some minutes, what have you. I mean, he's got an assist. Run it up. But I don't know. You got to put your best foot forward. You got to get this man some reps before Copa America. But maybe they're just trying to keep Martin happy. Maybe they're trying to get him some minutes because they know that Santi's going to be playing the whole freaking tournament. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Could be that. Could no be a little. 
we have to save him for the final, you know. But we're not we're not France, bro. We don't have four teams of eleven. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Santi's a young luxury. guy. Santi's a young guy, and he's not established. He should be chomping at the bit to play every single one. So if that's the argument for it's, it's a whole saving for the final, BS, incorrect. Switch it up. Run it back. Bring it back. If Mexico win, it will be Ochoa's first win since October. That's pretty wild if that's true. Woof. Damn, dude. 4-0 incoming from Mexico. I'm kind of feeling a 3-1. I think Panama and Mexico both score in the second half. Jack, are you in Argentina? Tell me so we can meet for a photo, maybe chill for a bit. Yeah, bro, I'm in Buenos Aires for at least another five days. And then I think I'm going to go to Cordoba for hopefully like five days as well. And then after that, bro, I have no idea what's happening. Maybe Bariloche, maybe Cuenca in Ecuador. I have no freaking Asuncion. That's that's a nomination at the moment. Medellin. I'd love to go to Antigua to start working my way back up to uh, allied territory in Central America. Place where I actually feel welcome. <laughs> Good. Right Get out. Understand what the hell people are saying. Ungrateful, uh, you ungrateful, uncultured swine. Maybe Montevideo as well. That'd be sick. Oh, you mad right now? <laughs> uh, I was trying to visit South America. I ended up in Spain. I don't know how that happened, but uh, dude, the the volume of Italian in Spanish. Cafes and restaurants, you know, you, you know what like Spanish tortilla is, right? It's like the big, thick egg thing. It's usually got papas, sometimes cebollas. Yeah. I mean, you can put like jamón crudo and stuff on top of it. But I thought I was never gonna have that again until I went back to Spain, unless I went to a specifically like Spanish authentic restaurant. Every cafe here has it, all you know, of them. I don't. I I was not introduced to that as tortilla. Oh, what do you say it as? I don't I don't know, but I've had that several times. That was like my abuela would would make that. My granny, she would she would cook that up. I've eaten that quite a few times. I did not know that that was Spanish. I'm I'm 95% sure it's Spanish. I mean, I be, I believe you. I believe you. No, no, I'm just saying that because I could yeah. be wrong. Like somebody could be like, "Oh, it's actually originally no, I, I, something." I mean, Argentina is very similar to the United States in that a lot of our culture is completely based off of the immigrants that came before us. It is what it is. Y'all, y'all, what the hell? We got likes. Only 51. We got 251 people in here. We got 51 likes. We're I came here. Game. I, I was singing the national anthem. Me. Argentino numero uno. Vamos. Come on, bro. Vamos. Y'all disrespectful. We doing the Mexican salute out here. It's twelve fifteen. I'm gonna My for, time, the, I'm for the Canelo, the Canelo docu series. I'm getting swole for Come it. On, Come on now. Man. Come on, man. And we got a brace for Mexico winning two nothing. What? What do y'all want? That's rough. What do y'all need to have happen to leave a like on the stream? The Jamaicans were representing more than y'all. Y'all. Oh, that's facts. Fair weather fans. Damn. Damn. You I know I love right. that. I can't even. No, I can't even argue that, though. Like, the numbers speak for themselves. Oh, gosh. Julian Araujo on fraud watch, question mark. Yes. Oh, my bad. Yes. Yes, he is. He is. Golly, that shot us up to 88 likes. Well, y'all have some real ones. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Connor's Argentino side is fuming right now. Yes. Yes, of course it is. I haven't been since I'm one. And then Jack goes there and he's like, I kind of like the egg and potatoes that you guys do. But that's only because I've been to Spain before. Completely taking this for granted. I thought he was talking about the fact Mexico is winning two nothing. Oh, no, I don't. I don't care. I don't know how many times I got to tell you guys. 
I was raised in Texas. <laughs> My best friend's Mexican. That's Somebody fine. help me out. I have many important Mexicans in my life. Mexican culture is near and dear to my heart. Uh, mm -hmm. Sabes que uh, mi legal 3000. No hablo muy buen, no, no hablo muy bien el español, pero estoy practicando. Así que dame unos meses y ya, ya te encuentro en, uh, en bilingualidad. You reading a comment right now? Or responding to one? Yeah. Some guy said, uh, does Connor speak Spanish? So I had to clear that up real quick. I'm working on it. That's what I, that's what I thought so, but I couldn't find it. Connor, what's your favorite Mexican dish? Uh, I, I'm not going to lie. It's hard to beat a steaming hot plate of fajitas, but I would say that I probably, that's probably more Tex-Mex than anything. Um, maybe even birria as well. So I've got to do it. I've got to say um, chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. Chilaquiles is goaded, bro. Ch I, I have ne I, I think chilaquiles are the best breakfast food that I've ever had. Like authentic chilaquiles, the best. That being mm -hmm. said, I don't like migas all that much, which doesn't make any sense to me because it's almost the same. Yeah. I like migas, but the non traditional kind. Like I throw some other stuff in there. Yeah. That you're not like really supposed to add. I would say I used to despise it as a kid, but I love mole now. The mole that I had in uh, Guadalajara <sighs> dude, changed my life. It was incredible, huh? It was so good. There's a lot of good stuff, but I feel like there's not a lot of Mexican dishes, in my opinion, that are just like leagues above like the rest. I feel like it's all pretty solid. You know, like, can a torta be your favorite food? I mean, it's like a sandwich. Like, I've I guess it could some, be. I've had, I've had some really good tortas. And when they throw milanesa in there, <sighs> mm -hmm. oh, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Ridic no, uh, don't get me wrong. It's phenomenal. And you can mm -hmm. do like a torta ahogada, like the, it's basically like swimming and sauce. You can do the pombazo, like Mexico City version. There's like a lot that you can do with it, but it's like people don't say my favorite food is like a sandwich or like a burger. Favorite. I guess you do hear burger sometimes, but you don't really hear sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's too much going on with a uh, a torta for it to be classified as just a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's true. It really needs to be separated. Oh, this this is a good one right here. Well, uh, favorite pan dulce? Pan dulce. I, my favorite is the novia. That's what we always call them. It's the ones that are like kind of crispy with the concentric rings and they have the sugar on top of that. Not like a concha, but like a novia is what we would call them. I love them. I love them. You can eat them by himself with a little bit of a little bit of honey on them. Oh. Dude, I went through the ringer today trying to learn the like different Argentine um, pastries. Mm. So like I didn't. OK, so I knew media luna, but I didn't know what like factura meant. Because like mm. factura to me always meant like either an invoice or like a receipt. So when she was like, like, cual factura queréis? I was like, I'm sorry, I don't understand like. I was like, can you, I was like, can you explain? And she was like, you know, like, like, see, I may like follow me. And she brought me to the counter and she was like, you get to pick one. And I was like, I am so lost right now. I was like, this is a factura. But apparently factura can also mean croissant. But it can also mean just like a variety of small Argentine pastries, such as the pionono, pionono? panchito de leche. And the what was the other one called? Pasta frola, pasta frola, pasta frola, pasta frola is good. Pasta frola is a good one to have with mate. I like it because it's not like too sweet, mm. but like it's it's jam, right? There's like jam on it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Pasta mermelada. Is how you say mermelada. That, right? Yeah. See sí, mermelada. Mermelada. Pretty good. Sí. Uh, we are yeah. not no sabo kids, actually. 
Um, I was learned, or I was learned. Good God, I can't even speak English. I was we we speak ex- no exclusively Spanish at uh at my dad's house um because that side of the family's Argentine and then Jack has been personally working on his Spanish for years and the transformation is incredible. He's the only self-taught Spanish speaker that I think I've ever met. And that comes from what you're not like around people that speak Spanish consistently. You teach this to yourself. Correct. You're the only like very close friend I have that speaks Spanish. And even then our Spanish conversations are, are pretty sparse, I would say, which we've been, yeah, we just don't have them. Yeah. We've been saying that we're going to fix that. We're like, all right, 30 minutes a week. We're going to sit down. We're just going to talk in Spanish. Never happens. <laughs> It's because we're always talking this goddamn podcast every time. <laughs> we have no we had a great friendship outside of this. I know. It doesn't exist anymore outside of the podcast. It's just y'all literally killed it. Like it's this because all y'all don't fault. leave a like on the stream That's that every time I call Connor, I have to be like, how do we get these motherfuckers to leave a like? Y'all are damaging straight to business. our uh friendship. Straight business, bro. They want to know what our no. streak is on Duolingo. That stuff's bad for your language comprehension. I'm just going to flat out say it. Don't do Duolingo. Yeah. No, if you guys are going to do anything, do HelloTalk. That's an app that I really like Mm -hmm. because you can send voice messages, texts. You can call people from any Spanish-speaking country. And it's been very helpful to me. Like, I felt like I was very well-equipped for the Peruvian accent, which isn't even much of an accent when I got there. What I regret is I should have talked to more like Argentines and Uruguayans to like get used to the vos vosotros when I got here. Um, they, but it, uh, it's free usan, too. Usan vos vosotros in Argentina. Yeah. Wow. Is yes. pro- you're probably speaking to actual Spanish immigrants or something, probably, huh? They could be. I dude. I don't know. That's the other thing about Argentina that I. I don't like as much as by the way the game's back. Oh. Um I have I haven't been watching that I that I liked about Peru is I could immediately be like I'd be like that mofo's a foreigner just like me and I walk <laughs> up I say what's up extranjero and then I dap him up and then we be friends immediately. Here everybody looks like a foreigner cuz everybody looks Italian. So <laughs> so I don't know like I'm like, am I surrounded by enemies or are y'all like me? You know, what's going to totally the... kill my vibe is that I'm going to get there and nobody's going to bat an eye at my rear. That's what is, that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to be super pissed. No, no, dude. I saw another uh, red haired guy today. Oh, no, yeah. that's my whole shtick. It's like my Come whole on. personality is centered around that. This yeah. is some bullshlaka. This is what I want to do, but uh I'd rather go to Mexico, you know, for like somewhat obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, like I definitely, I definitely want to uh, become completely fluent. That's like a big life goal by, I mean, I don't really have a date for it, but. No, and don't yeah. put a date on it. I I think personally with the, ooh, with the, at the rate that you practice and you want to learn this stuff and your willingness to go out and engage with, Oh! oh my gosh. Grandi, grandi, grandi. Bro, it's my ideas. He said, let me make this about myself. He said, today is me day. Yeah. <laughs> he no, said, the, heard the rate, in, the rate that you like to. <laughs> <laughs> the, the rate that you like to uh, expose yourself to... Um, to the culture i think it could happen inside of a month i mean i i think your retention would probably be the same as mine you know i think you you just got to get out there and and do it which you obviously are doing oh dude you should see me sometimes bro i look like a child but like i just don't i don't care if i have the energy i don't care like i walked up to this girl at the gym she was fine by the way and i was just like like excuse me I was like, what did I say? I was like, puedo hablar español, pero mi vocabulario en el gimnasio es muy básico. I was like, 
I was like, puedes ayudarme, like, como di, I was like, hablas, uh, uh, algo inglés, she was like, si, sí, más o menos, I was like, okay, perfecto, I was like, how, like, and I just picked up a dumbbell, and I was like, como, like, what, how, what do you call this? Como se llama? Like, como se, yeah, como se llama este, and she was like, like, una barra, and I was like, I thought this was a barra, <laughs> and I pointed to, like, the, the barbell, and she's like, si, sí, si, sí. like, es lo mismo, Todos. es igual, and I was like, but then what the hell is this? And I pointed to the, uh, the like the, the rings. What'd she say? I think she literally just called it un disco or la yeah. disca, something like that. And I was like, a disc? She was like, see? You ain't got to overcomplicate it, big dog. I know. I was like, damn, this shit easy. I'm like, this language is for idiots. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the language for morons. <laughs> Two weeks. I got it. Oh my gosh. I'm surrounded by idiots. No. Um <laughs> you'd go full <laughs> colonizer. They're very simple people. <laughs> Many I hail from full... Italian and Spanish descent. Ah, uh, bro, I went full British Empire real quick as soon as she <laughs> said that. I said, You people are beneath me. <laughs> Bloody hell, the natives' vocabulary is extremely limited. I immediately walked to the nearest Irish pub, right? Fish and chips and got a Guinness. I don't eat this <laughs> disgusting local cuisine. <laughs> the best asado in the world. <laughs> and I'm like, give me that acai bowl. <laughs> We're cl- completely discounting the entire, what, just almost otherworldly language that is uh, Argentine slang. And uh, what is it? Vesre. Milo, uh, not not milonga. What am I saying? It's um. Oh, this looks a little dangerous here. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! That cabezazo wow. was so weak. Wow! 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 Dude, who was that first shot for Hardo? I don't know, but I think Ochoa has already used like eight of his remaining one hundred tackles <laughs> before his literal like I don't even know his body just gives up. That was literally. Insane. And we have an entire Copa America to play. And an entire Copa America. That's a good win. Yep, that's a good win from Godoy. And that's going to be a foul and a yellow card. Good win. Absolutely bad yellow. Absolutely for Luis Chavez. Guys. Yep. Come on now. Okay, go back to the shot. What happened? Yeah, let's see the shot. I don't, know what, I don't know what Vasquez is arguing for here. I, I really don't. He's arguing to argue. It's clear as day. Wait, damn! I, somebody, somebody said something earlier about another word for dumbbell, and I re- wanted to write it down, but it disappeared. Whoever did that, can you re- Can you tell me again what dumbbell was? It began with an M, and then I don't remember the rest. Uh mancuernas. 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 Okay. Mancuernas. Mancuernas. Dumbbell. Dumbbell. Pasame el dumbbell. I don't know why. Dumbbell is uh, menso. Wait, so what's mancuerno? Mancuernas. Mancuernas. What's a last mancuernas? What's that then? Like a free weight? I guess. Okay, dumbbell is un menso. Un menso. Shot coming in. Ooh. Okay, better than Malik Tillman's. What is What's going sh- on? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so far back on comments. I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. I I am too. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Argentina got the baddies though. Alvaro, see, I don't know if y'all ready for this conversation yet. Honestly. I don't know if I don't know if we are either. <laughs> I, I don't. Know, I, yeah, because I'm gonna tell you, I know this man twenty plus years. I already know where this is going. <laughs> Can I say it? Can I say it? Yeah, yeah, say it. Argentina does have the baddies. For Jack's taste, though, they're too white. Thank you. They're too white. Thank That's you. It. Full stop. Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, the world wasn't designed for me. It wasn't. I'm just one of God's creatures, all right? <laughs> but in my opinion, I found the Peruvian women more beautiful for my for my eyes. Though there are very there are a lot of very pretty women here. Very pretty women. Just say that you think we're an ugly people. Just say it. No, you, you you're not. Wrong. You're not a. You're not ugly people at all. You heard it. I would say on, <laughs> dude. That back heel from Andrade was disgusting. That was nice. That was nice. Off. And the shot. Okay, I thought the shot sleeping. was good too. Gallardo sleeping again. Jesus Christ! Disaster class from both Mexican fullbacks here. Not Joe Scally level, but like, what no, are we doing? No, 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 no. Joe Scally wishes. Joe Scally wishes he wasn't alone today, but he stands on a pedestal. Yo, I was talking, somebody said, uh, oh, no, I want to finish the thought. I would say on average, and, and I, I sincerely mean this. Let me also plug in my laptop. I'm on 2%. I sincerely think that on average, Argentines are probably one of the more attractive people like I've I've seen. Like, I would probably say, who else is really good looking? For me, Jack's tier list of just good looking people, men and women, in no particular order, top three, I'm going Greeks, Argentines. The Greeks are beautiful people. They're, dude, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful people. <sighs> <laughs> Persians and Koreans are my top four. Wow. Yeah. You know, there's, a, there's up there. I think, I think Mexicans are certainly attractive on average, but there's also like a big, like a pretty big variety of like what a Mexican looks like. Okay, yeah, there's feel, very large variance. You know what I'm saying? Like Persians, yeah. Greeks, Koreans anyways, like they they don't really have that that big of a spectrum. The Argentines, you kind of either like look European or you look like more like indigenous. Yeah. Like a little bit. You look like a little mixed. Like a little mix, you know what I'm saying? Mhm. Mm um this is a long way of saying that, yeah, I just think the people here are, are generally, like, very good looking. Like, the bar is raised in Argentina, for sure. Most people are fit, I would say. Yeah. Well, it's a very walkable, very bikeable city. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what a shot! Oh! Oh, my God. All right, yeah, we've forgotten. We've lost the plot. Who just got hit in the face? Oh, Montez is pissed. He lost his upper lip. He can't find it. Dude, Panama playing well, man. Panama is playing well. That's a great block from Montez. Montez had to put that one to bed. He did. He really did. Wait, wait, wait. Did we just have a Gire check in the game? What is... I don't know what's going on. Wow. Um, okay, Gano. give me Pineda and Chucky. I'm pretty sure I just saw Eric Aguirre check in the game. Am I losing my freaking mind right now? I'm pretty sure I just saw Aguirre. Hold up. Am I going insane? Nope. That was him. Holy crap. He just checked in. Yo, okay. That's a, that's an interesting sub. I'm just going to hold my thoughts on that till I see how he plays. Coco ball in. That's pretty good. Oh, 
Okay, well, let's see if we can generate some chances here. I'm not seeing nearly as much counterattacking as I was expecting from Mexico, given how Panama yeah. are trying to play right now. That is a little concerning. It's I'm a little concerning to me. Right now. I want a three to one yeah. again. I still kind of feel that deep down. I'm still kind of feeling the three one, but Juki got a hit arms. Dude, I was about you took the words right out of my mouth, bro. He looks like a little boy. Come on, bro. That is embarrassing, dude. You can't, you can't, be, you can't be having that. Can't be no. having that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Albert randomly jumped in the chat and said, Jack is not a milkman. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's out. <laughs> the one comedy is left in two straight streams. That Uzbek blood confusing Jack. That's that's true. <laughs> oh, Martin says let's do an Ecuador Italy live stream on Sunday. Hmm. Honestly, I'm in. I just got to make sure that we don't have the final going on at that time. Oh, I'm just getting all the, the chats about other very attractive places. See, I've never been to Brazil or Colombia, so I can't say yet. I should have prefaced only the places I've been. Martin is a ghost. <laughs> Argentina live stream tomorrow. I'm not doing a live stream for that because I'm pretty sure the game starts at midnight Buenos Aires time. It's really, really late. And I think I'm linking up with Connor's fam tomorrow. So we might, I don't know. We'll probably end up at a bar or something to like watch, I assume. Oh, good little run here. You're going out to the club. The club Saturday, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Damn, we're going to the club tomorrow? Oh, I'm God. so riddled with hatred and jealousy towards you right now that... Uh... <laughs> That I can't even fathom. We're coming back in three months. We better. We got we got to lock down a date now so I can buy a ticket. Yep. And we'll go to Body Loche as well. I'll save that for you. I won't go to Body Loche. Oh my gosh, great play. Ah uh, go to go to Body Loche now. Because in the winter time it's not gonna be as nice. Oh, good point. Good point. Winter time, I, I want to spend almost the entire time in Buenos Aires. Like, if we got to go to Mendoza, I'm okay with that. But I'd rather hang out with my cousins, like, see the city, meet the people. Mm -hmm. Mendoza, it, I feel like, massive. is a summertime activity. Yeah, I believe it. I, like, I've just been in San Telmo and parts of, I think, the other neighborhoods called, like, Montserrat. That's a trash. Okay. God damn it. Like, I haven't even been to Palermo, really, outside My of... God, what a throw. Did you see that? That was that was insane from Mosqueda. Like 40, that ball needs... That, 40, 50 oh, yards. that ball's way too late, though. Yeah. Eric Davis, also with the left foot, kissed by God. And what just <laughs> happened there? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like we're like, Montserrat, Antuna, <laughs> Eric Davis. <laughs> Eric Davis. And then back to Pastel de la Papa. Oh, <laughs> Pasta Frola. Pasta Frola. Ah, Which, by the way, Pastel de la Papa literally looks like Musaca, but the Spanish version. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it. It's crazy. I've never seen Blue Musaca, Mama. I don't think. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like Pastel de la Papa. <laughs> Oh, that's a risky oh, ball. Lord. Oh, Coco didn't see him. Oh, my gosh. And Golly. that is. Dude, you got to get an angle on it. You got to get an angle on it. Bro, Chucky Lozano just misses a one on 
one, probably one of the easiest chances you will get for the Mexican national team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's probably the worst mistake I've seen Coco make ever for Panama, too. He just doesn't see Chucky there. And that should have been game. Wow. That should have been game right there. That should have been game. Dude, I still think the f- one of the funniest things you ever said was when you said La Verdad de la Papa. Like, la Verdad de la the Papa. Potato. Truth of the potato. That was hilarious. Truth of the food. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. It's great. You should hear Bernard use it, dude. The vindication that he has in his voice when he says it. It's incredible. I've been texting, uh, I've been texting your dad a little bit. Yeah, I know. He sends me pictures of the things that you're doing, and I'm like, Dad, this is infuriating me. That miss from Chucky is infuriating me. Like, Dude. he has the entire goal to aim at. Just take a touch, mate. Like, he – oh, my God, he panics so bad. That's so bad. I think he just so... picks, he just picks the small corner that he thinks the goalie, you know, is focused on uh, uh, the wide side, the open side. And he tries to go for the small corner because he thinks the goalie isn't anticipating it, but he is. He is. He was waiting for that. I remember Gattuso when he was in Napoli. said, Chucky doesn't know how to finish. He just falls on the floor all the time. <laughs> That's brutal. That is hey, brutal. Dude. Hey, we got some small ass wingers in our team though. Like Okay. Epa. Okay. Uh that was almost good. Mexico is forcing a lot of mistakes, I will say. Oh, As we baby. should. But that ball is ridiculous. That is Colasso. ridiculous. Colasso. Golazo. That is ridiculous from Pineda. Golazo. Wow. Golazo. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pass. The pass. The pass. From Montes there. Right to his feet. And look, the Mexicans aren't even losing their minds. You you should be. Oh, my. That's, that's disgusting. Oh, oh, he getting down with it now. He getting down with it now. The backflip and the dance? Unreal. Dude, the best part about Pineda scoring is the backflip. <laughs> Look at this ball. Bink. Wow. That's who? pretty who that? lazy. Who is the, the, the dish that passed? I think it's uh, Cesar Montes. Uh, I'll watch it again. Yeah, that's Montes. Big old boy. He's, tr- he's very good at that. Nice control. Oh, no, that's kidding. disgusting. That, that was disgusting. disgusting. That touch is filth. What if I told you that's his first goal since Halloween? I, w- I wouldn't believe you. That's insane. Yeah, it is, though. It is, though. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Can we get a like on the stream for Oberlin Pineda, the Greek League MVP, coming back to form? Come on, baby. The return. The return, bro. Come on. Immediately, now. I see Chucky is so washed. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been 4-0. It, it should have been 4-0, but we just put the game to bed right there. That was very, very nice. Wow. Henry El Fantasma Martin. <laughs> El Fantasma. <laughs> know why that's so funny oh god oh El Fantasma Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I've made that joke myself like 200 times it just, it just didn't hit the same oh Okay. Lopez. 
little flare. Oh, good feet. Oh, that's good, that's good off. God. That's good off. Yep, yep. But a good run. Good run, good pass. Mm -hmm. That was some filthy feet by Luis Chavez there, though. Oh, no. Cecilia Waterman's in. That means it's game, set, match. Oh. Woo. Damn, Rafa Harder just – how was that not a yellow? I don't that know was a rugby saying. tackle. No, I mean, he, uh, he brought him down around the chest. Yeah. Relax. It's a it's a clear tactical foul. Just give him the yellow. You don't gotta send him off, but I mean, for the love of the God. Jack is into feet. Certainly not. <laughs> Certainly not. Good heavens. Well, Certainly not. What do we do when Panama is remontada and wins 4-3? Um, we get jerseys. I, I, yeah, I would at that point. <laughs> yeah. I'd switch. You have to respect it. Yeah, you got to respect that. I wonder if Nico Cantor is the son of Andres Cantor. It's a very be, random right? thought. Well, they're both announcers. Same last name. Mm. You know, Andre Cantor, he's the uh, the Argentine who did the goal for the first time. He's one of the few announcers I actually know by name. Bottom are frauds. Come on now, they ain't nah, frauds. I don't know. If, if you're watching the game, you know they're not frauds. No, they're playing well. There's life in this team, yeah. They just don't have a striker. I've said it before. I don't know if there's a team that... Like, if I'm thinking, let's, let's play a game. Y'all in the chat, let us know too. National teams only. Which ones are just missing a striker? Which ones are a striker away from being like, Damn, this team is legit. Panama has to be top three for me. They really, really need that. Um, oh, okay, yeah, though. Damn it. Like maybe. Okay, let me really think now. I'm really thinking now. You could make an argument for. All right, I'm going to my ball right now. If you like Peru, they're probably okay. Argentina, no problem there. Uruguay, no problem. Brazil, no problem. Well, maybe underperformers, but yeah, they have options at least. They have attacking options, but, but no, like, no bro, put, out now. Put Richarlison on Panama, bro. Put Richarlison on Panama, and that would be scary. Yeah, he he'd be good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Colombia. They don't really have like a. Beast Mode 9? What's my boy's name who usually plays there? Well, he and my boy. I don't know his name, obviously, but Borges. Yeah. Oh, Borges. dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh. Oh, my gosh. That needs to be a layoff, bro. Come on. El you fantasma. have to do Mexicans. What? El Fantasma. El Machine. El Fantasma. Uh, and Eric Davis. And Eric Davis, baby. Eric, Eric, you know that's how his mom says his name, Eric, oh, for sure, Eric, damn, when was the last time Panama 8-3, it was probably when the U.S. put the smack down on him 
Dude, this is insane, bro. Is that that was Chucky again? Yeah. You gotta be you gotta be kidding me, bro. All right, what's the chat saying? I want some actual answers here. Ecuador, fantastic nomination. Fantastic. That is a great shout. Yeah, Ecuador, man. bless Inna Valencia's heart, but the man just old now. I love that. That's a great, great shout. Tajikistan. That, uh, you know, I love Asian football. I completely agree. That is a, that's bonus points for naming Tajikistan. <laughs> not a lot of people would get that, but I completely agree. Jalilov is not a finisher. Oh, my Lord. Mascara. Italy for Marcos Garcia. Italy. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's true. They've been they've been having the Chiro Immobile question Scamaca Belotti for five years, it feels like. I I accept that. I think that's also a very good shot. This is such a good ball. Antuna, speed demon. Basura. Basura. Absolute. The man Fracasso. can't even make a cross when he's not covered. I don't understand. Unbelievable. 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 Trash. I, I would say yeah, he's I'm... the only one in uh, Mexico's lineup that's looking, you know, like they're making any glaring mistakes. I think at Alco and Gallardo were so, so to below. Not like, oh, my gosh, get out the firing squad, but like. Oh, Luis Ramos coming in. Good Lord. Just put Santi. Like, what are we doing, bro? Yeah, what are we dancing around here? What, what are we dancing around here? Okay, going back to y'all's answers. Japan, phenomenal shout. Phenomenal shout. Portugal, interesting. Don't they have, uh, what's my boy? What's his celebration? I think he goes like that. I think it's very similar to Suarez. You know what I'm talking about? Um, you got a goal at the World Cup. Who? What's my guy's name? Suarez. He, I think he does the pistols. Or maybe he goes like this. I think he goes like this. Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't remember. European ball knowledge exposed. Exposed, bro. Those are all really good answers from me. Uh, they're saying Gonzalo Ramos. Yes. Gonzalo Ramos, yes. I think he's at PSG right now. See, Marcos is saying Ecuador cooked with Ener. Like, he's not bad. Like, okay, I would say... How do I say this? He's probably like Ayasa Ueda with Japan. Just, like, way more tenured. Where it's like, he can do the job, and he's, like, a good player. But you would still probably say that's the weakest part of the team. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But, dude, Panama would love Valencia. Are you kidding me? They would love Inner Valencia. He'd be a yeah. national hero. You know, oh, like yeah. love so bad. Uh, Ellie's is saying that uh, Germany. Germany. Ooh, what's a good one? Which they don't want Kai Havertz anymore. They don't want Kai I thought he was back in form. England. Anyways. Without a Anyways, nine. I am uh I'm gonna uh remove Panama from the number one because I do think Japan J Japan. Oh my god. Japan. 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 I do think <laughs> Oh my god, you get this coming in. Interesting. Okay. Good for him. Good to get a couple minutes. Is he coming in for Johan? I can't tell. He's a uh, uh, young Chivas player, very highly rated, barely played it all for Mexico, like barely played it all for Mexico. He was like the one call up I was excited about in the last uh, for this window for Mexico. So let's see what he OK, he's coming in for Johan. So he's going to CB. Uh, he can play fullback as well. But yeah, OK, so I'll probably say. 
Yeah, Ak- nah. I probably go Japan because they really, really need that. Then I'll go Panama. Then I'll go. Probably Germany. <laughs> Trinidad. Yeah, they do too. I don't know. Y'all, I'm too tired. I'll do that. I'll do ranking the top five countries that need a striker. Hit subscribe. Leave a like on the stream. I'll do that later. I ain't doing that right now. Let's let's see out this game. Good job, Memo. Memo's <laughs> pretty good game. Yeah, he's had a pretty good game. Yeah, he's had a pretty good game. What I'm really impressed by is how he's commanding the uh, the back line here. He started using his big boy voice, and they started falling in line. And all of a sudden, Mexico's – I wouldn't say they're looking locked down, but they're definitely looking more stable than at the beginning of the game. Yeah. I guess we're getting another uh, Super Classico. Which, I'm going to be real, like, that's, I want revenge badly. So I'm cool with that. But it is a lot more of the same with CONCACAF at the same time. You know, it's like, oh, okay, well, oh, wow, who made the final? Oh, you don't <laughs> say Mexico's back? Again, really? Seriously, wow. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, with the expanded World Cup, too, we just got to merge the federations. It's time. What are we doing? What are we doing? If the Koreans have to fly to Saudi Arabia for a World Cup qualifier, the Canadians can fly to Buenos Aires. Okay. But it's not about that. Comebol doesn't want to be associated with that. Yeah. It's a pedigree thing. Yeah. Two continents have World Cup titles and they don't want to drag North America into that, you know? Yeah, for sure. And I can definitely tell you there is a palpable like disrespect for North and Central American football here. Like every time yeah. I play when people find out I'm American, you can tell they're like, this guy sucks. Just like instantly. Dang. Until they get balled on. <laughs> but you have to earn their respect. You know, it's like being like a white dude at the basketball court. Oh, like, oh, oh my gosh. Nice. That was good. Gallardo actually had a good defensive action there. Oh, my. That was unbelievable. Horrendous. Look at uh, look at Coco on the right by himself. He's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? He's like, bro, send me back to the Dynamo. Send me back. Yo, on the bright side, we do get to see Panama Jamaica in the bronze game, which I think is kind of interesting. That'll be a good game. That'll be a good game. Die hard. It's a good game. Okay, so I'm Thomas Christensen, right? Am I am I elevating my reputation by finishing third? Or excuse me, it wouldn't be third. But finishing fourth and third at consecutive Nations Leagues with Panama? I think so. Okay. I kind of think so, too. I think so. I mean, by by every stretch of the imagination, it should be Canada or Jamaica, right? Or Costa Rica. Or even Honduras have a shout. Where are they at? Yeah, they're not even making the final four because Panama got some, got it on lock. That's a good clearance. I don't know. I think about it sometimes because it's very difficult to judge the success of managers at smaller nations because people yeah. would be like, it's the same thing with uh, Gary O'Neill, Sean Dyche. Uh, oh, what if they won? Mate, he was at Burnley for eight years. What did you want him to win? Yeah. Yeah. If you would have won, he better get a, the next job at Man U. You kidding me? If he won, you'd, you'd be calling him Burnley. coach of the season. You'd be calling him coach of the year. He would have won FIFA's the best. Like, 
Yeah. It would have it would have been more impressive than what what they did at Leicester. Yes. Oh Jesus, what's happening right now in the back? No, but for real, like this this is very disappointing for Panama because they they just like Jamaica are still looking for that big big statement win. Oh, that's a horrendous pass. But he's not supposed to win these games. He's not. Panama are not supposed no. to be here, really. No, they're not. Good little pace there from Aguirre, I think. I think that's Aguirre. I can't tell. I don't know his number off the top of my head. Oh, Coco's pissed. No, it's Pineda. So, like, I don't know. Basically, what I'm trying to say is if Christensen was appointed Mexico manager, I think that would be pretty exciting, actually. I think he would do well. Yeah. And he deserves, you know, regardless of what happens in the third place game and even the Copa America, barring like a disaster. I think he deserves an upgrade for his next job. Like he he needs a good, he needs a very, no disrespect to Panama, but he needs something with a little more tenure as his next job. He He needs something that can take him higher. He needs an upgrade. Yeah. Sean Dyche is underrated. You damn right, Marcos. Mad underrated. Damn right. Dude, I, did you see my tweet? Everton are top eight in expected goals and expected goals allowed, meaning like they have the eighth best expected defense. Wow. And they're 16th in the table. So that tells me that like he's setting them up right. Just the players suck. That's how I took that. I mean, yeah, watch the games. I th- I think you would agree. A lot of yeah. their stuff comes from individual errors, and I think I think uh, fixture strength has a bit to do with that. Probably a little bit, but uh, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody's going to be playing the same schedule. So everybody playing the same schedule. Yep. We for real wasted a sub on Romo. Yeah, like, this is what I'm saying, man. Like, we can't throw on some of the young guys with 12 minutes left and just see what they do. We have to put on Luis Romo. It's terrible. Bottom, I got to show up at the Copa America, though. Do they, though? Do they? What, what does... Oh, what a run. That was nice. Man. Good defense. Who even was that right now? Is that Luis Chavez? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, okay. Fantasma. El Fantasma de America. You're going to wake up from a nightmare and you're going to see him in the corner of your room. Yes. Without a doubt. <laughs> But anyways, to, to get back to the question, like what does what does showing up at the Copa America look like for Panama? Winning a game? Winning one game. They beat Bolivia? That's showing up. They have the US, Bolivia, and Uruguay. Like, what are they supposed to do? Four points would be crazy. Beat Bolivia. Four points beat would Bolivia be insane. and tie Uruguay. That's insane. No, nah, I think you beat Bolivia and tie the U.S. I don't think you can tie Uruguay. This side gets massacred by Uruguay. Yeah, I think so, too. Thomas Christensen would cook at Paraguay. Interesting shout. I don't know if... I don't know if they got the players to – he's a pretty offensive coach. I mean, and Ciso is going to have to do a lot. And is going to have to do a lot. I was going to say I was going to say maybe Venezuela, but Venezuela, last we saw, doesn't really need the help. Yeah. 
it would be an interesting challenge for him because he's going to be forced probably to play more defensive. Yeah. But but they do have the attacking power, you know. You can do some beautiful things with yeah, counterattack yeah. with this Venezuel- Venezuelan yeah. side. That's true. They got a pretty pretty aggressive midfield too. Yeah. They don't really have a cam, but he needs a team with like a good central midfield player. Like maybe it's cliche to say, but Ecuador, man, I think he'd be great. You give him Jeremy Sarmiento and Kendry Pies, I feel like, oh, 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 oh my gosh. And, of course, it's Cecilia Waterman, bro. I'm done. I knew. And, and I of course, he out. grabs the Reebok logo instead of the freaking badge. <laughs> Come on, big dog. It's on the left. Oh, my gosh. Why, why didn't you do that for Alianza, bro? Where were you? Oh, it's funny. Damn, that's a nice header, though. Is that? Hold on. It's a on. nice is that Luis Romo? Is that Luis Romo? I swear on my mother's life, bro. Oh, my goodness. Luis Dude, Romo, bro. You know what bugs the hell out of me in regards to this? Is that it's Luis Romo's fault. Look at Ochoa's dive. Ochoa has five saves tonight. Everybody's going to say he's washed again. Yep. I don't understand it. I don't understand. No, you're right. You're right. They're going to say, oh, didn't keep a clean sheet. Here comes Malagon. You can be like, well, actually, the game should arguably be, no, it shouldn't be tied because Mexico missed some big chances. I'm looking at you, Chucky, but Mexico should be winning by one. And instead, we're up two goals because of Memo and Joe. What what would you attribute that to? Would you say the Mexican chat? Let me know. Would you say the the volume of Panamanian chances? Would you say that's mostly from the Mexican backline being poor, Memo Ochoa's mistakes, or the midfield disallowed oh, offsides? Okay, well I guess Memo's the goat again. Memo's um, the goat again. Wow. Now nah, run it back. Run it back. Show me that offsides. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Well, can we can we pause it? Like, yeah, why can don't we? we... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Crazy how the angle looks so much more clear there. In the previous, uh, yeah, not that, goal. not that y'all needed that goal. Well, dude, we kind of did. I think Bottom have been very impressive this game. Oh, oh my gosh, Luis Romo getting body bagged by Waterman again, again, <laughs> literally twice in 30 seconds. Waterman, the star of Alianza, has put you on the mixtape, bro. Like, learn how to run, brother. Oh my lord. Bro, he is literally a tronco, dude. I cannot stand Luis Roma. I cannot stand this man. Oh, my gosh. He's so trash, dude. It's... Bro, Panama are not... Panama are not frauds, man. They're not frauds. Y'all just got to be realistic with what this team could do. And also pay attention to how the, this game's gone out. Like, Memo's he's helped us out a lot this game. Five saves. Yeah, this has been far from, like, shut down Mexico, you know, obliterating the poor little Panamanians. Like, no, far from. You know, a couple, a couple clinical finishes away, and they're in this thing. Yeah. yeah. This is still that game. This is a game you didn't watch. You can check football tomorrow morning. You're going to say, okay, Mexico's back, and we're going to beat the U.S. in the final. No. No. I haven't seen enough. If we're surrendering these chances to Panama, oh, gosh. A team that we historically have their number. 
Yeah. We haven't lost to Panama in 15 matches. Fun fact. Wow. And for them to be playing this well. Dude, Luis from is such a douchebag. <laughs> he is such a douchebag. Send this man to the Norwegian league. Let him freeze. Let him freeze. Let him lose wages. Let him starve. And let him know suffering and misery. Maybe that'll check his attitude. Because I think the right out of those paycheck is getting to his head a little bit. It's pathetic, mate. It's pathetic. The fact that this man truly thinks he's good enough to be wearing this shirt right now is disgusting. If I was him, I'd be the nicest guy on the pitch. I'd be I'd be thanking the universe every day that I'm somehow finding myself in this situation. Look good at that. Job, Look at that Ochoa catch. Look at that Ochoa catch. That was good. And look at the respect from Waterman. See that class from Waterman? That's what I want to see from Luis Roma. There Never it is. Seen. Dude, the keeping kid is so sexy for Mexico. So it looks sick. like a... So sick. I was just at the... Uh, what is it called today? Museo de... It's not Museo Nacional. But something. I was at the History Museum in Buenos Aires today and like... They're, they have this one hallway where there's all the different uh, dresses, not dresses, but military garb for all the like gauchos and the independence guys. Yeah. And his thing looks like one, like kind of like the slash going through it. The red slash. It looks yeah. just like this one guy in there. So sick. Oh, that's sick. It was badass. One dude was like yellow. With like a little bit of like blue on it, it was, it looks so cold. Um, anyways, yeah, I know I'm straight hating on Romo, but that's fine. Jolly says his mom is better than Romo. <laughs> Get her in. Get her in. Call her up. We need her. Dude, she's, she probably is. Um, Cowboy, I got a dip. I got a dip. Do we have any parting thoughts really quickly or parting thoughts? I'm going to say the score line does not reflect the play. I think Memo Cho was very good. I think the fullbacks are a concern for Mexico still. Mm -hmm. I think our midfield is good. Panama, I think they've hit their, their glass ceiling, unfortunately. And let's not get it twisted. We're not the best team in CONCACAF because of this result. My closing thoughts. I think I have to agree. I think I have to agree. I saw a lot more life and spirit than I expected to see from Mexico today. And uh, what I really liked is that they picked themselves up by their bootstraps um, and overcame sort of a, a rocky start to the game. So, uh, yeah, happy with it. Beautiful goal by Pineda. It was nice. It yeah. was nice. Yeah, really happy with that. Yeah. It was good. I saw two great games today. Really makes up for some of those back-to-back -back stinkers that we live stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think we had. I think we had good, uh, good goals overall. The Quinones one will get talked about a lot, but um, I'll talk more about this in the video tomorrow, guys. So if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. There will be a video coming out tomorrow. My thoughts on this. And I'll ramble way more in that video. It will be completely unscripted. Um, But I feel like this game was, in terms of performance, so close that calls like that will be discussed a lot. Yeah. Um, If by the letter of the law it's onside, that's fine. But I think anybody saying that Mexico bodied Panama or Panama got exposed, just wrong. Just wrong. Yeah. Oh, man. And Thuna and Chuki, bro. Horrible. <laughs> that was a rough game from Chuki. Rough. That was a rough cameo appearance.
I'm over here like, why isn't he starting? And then he comes on and does that. It's like, oh, maybe. Uh, maybe that's why. Maybe he knew. Something. Maybe maybe Lozano saw that. Yeah, ahead of time. So, anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the stream there. It's 1 o'clock in the morning for me, midnight for Connor. We both got stuff to do early in the morning. So, again, make sure you check out the social media links in the description of this video. Uh, definitely follow the Twitter so you will know exactly when our Nations League final live stream is going on. Probably, you know, 20 minutes before kickoff on Sunday. Uh, follow both Connor and I on Twitter. You can see our handles right there and right there. Um, and leave a like on the stream. You guys are awesome. We'll see you back on the channel tomorrow for the Nations League final.